Hi, I'm Lisa from the Perth Sewing Centre in Malaga, Western Australia. Today I'm going to talk to you about embroidering toilet rolls. Why, you may ask? We say, why not? Cut away. Cut away is much better than tear away, as when you tear away the tear away, you may perforate the toilet paper. So cut away is a better option. You'll need some pins. Now we did find fine pins are much better. Fine pins you can get 0.05 mil or 0.04 mil. They are very good pins. They won't make puncture marks in your fabric. A 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter hoop is all you need. However, if you want to do two toilet rolls in one hooping, you just need a longer hoop to enable you to fit two widths of toilet roll. I'll explain that better later. For our next step, we get our 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter hoop. We cut a square of cutaway and place that into the hoop. Now, with our roll of toilet paper, we'll count four squares in, one, two, three, four. Cut another square of cutaway, just slightly bigger than a square of the toilet paper, and fold two squares in so that you now have a double layer to give reinforcement for your embroidery. Remembering this is the inside of your toilet roll, as when you roll it up, the embroidery wants to be facing on the outside. So when you hoop it, hoop the bulk of the roll out to the left and place your embroidery area into the hoop and simply pin it with four pins on either side, well outside the embroidery area. Make sure everything's squared up so that it's nice and straight here, your edges match both layers of toilet paper match and you then pin it central to your hoop. Also pin it nice and straight and parallel to your hoop. Now we'll take it over to the machine and show you the next step. Okay now it's time to bring the hoop onto the machine and you have the roll of toilet paper. We want that well and truly over to the left hand side of the machine and leave this nice and slack so that the toilet paper doesn't tear. Gently lifting the toilet paper as you slide your hoop on or connect your hoop however your hoop actually connects to your machine. Slide that on and just gently place it over remembering to be very gentle with your toilet paper. Now we simply centre our design and embroider. We've saved our designs through the Wi-Fi system on this Brother Stellaire. So we simply go to our Wi-Fi. It brings up all our designs that we wish to choose from. And we simply choose a design and sew it out. Choose, set, test that it's in the correct spot, and then sew. been embroidered we just simply remove the pins very carefully very carefully so that you don't damage the toilet paper so for positioning more than one toilet roll you can just line them up one arm underneath the other in a larger hoop a nice easy way to remove the toilet roll from the hoop is to place the rolls on top Release the bottom hoop from the top and that way the hoop just comes straight off. Remove the bottom hoop and then carry on to the next step. And here's the final step. We just need to remove the cutaway. Gently fold back the toilet paper and simply cut the excess cutaway, cutaway back. Fold it back. So we're folding the toilet paper back to ensure that we don't cut the toilet paper and we're only cutting the cutaway. And 
then it's just a matter of giving it a nice straight edge along the bottom. And along the top. Then, then simply roll your toilet roll back up and there you have your finished product. Once we have our embroidered toilet roll it's just a matter of then wrapping it in cellophane. This one was a simple flat cellophane on a roll, we've just tied that up, but you can get cellophane bags where your toilet roll just slips into, wrap it with a nice bit of ribbon and there you have it, great little Christmas gift, bit of a joke, should get a laugh out of it. Hope you've enjoyed watching, thanks from the Perth Sewing Centre.